One thing Tunembu may have learned from APC Continuous Pursuit of Jonathan. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. According to the Vanguard, they spot the former president, good luck, Jonathan, rejecting the presidential aspiration form of the All Progressives Congress, APC. He may still run for the presidency on the platform of the ruling party, as he formerly met with national chairman of the ruling party, Abdullahi Adamu. In order to sort out some gray areas regarding his candidacy, that will no doubt be a big blow to the presidential ambition of the former Lagos State Governor, Bola Tenembu, who may now have learned that gentlemen's agreement does not work in politics. It was earlier speculated that before helping President Muhammad Buhari get into office, get into power in 2015, there was a gentleman's agreement between them that the president would back him to take over from him after his second term. That has clearly not happened as the president is yet to publicly back any presidential aspirant and it was reported about two months ago that it was the presidency that approached Jonathan promising to make him APC's presidential candidate if he joined the party under certain conditions which were not specified at the time. In case you missed, it was also reported that one of the reasons why Jonathan is most appealing candidate for the North is that they know he cannot be the president for more than one term. The reasoning behind it is that power will likely return to the North after four years and not a potential eight years, as will be the case if Tenembu or others from the South who have not been in the position gets into power. Hmm. You see, on top of this matter, hmm, politics is a game just like football. You don't know what will happen. In football, they might be playing 2-0. The people playing 2-0, you're busy killing yourselves. The people who carry 0, they're going to be busy killing themselves, you know, doing a whole lot of thing. And then, before you know it, the people who they have zero will score one, we equalize, we score three, we score four. You score four. And then, bef before you know it, you even score, and you're like, ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> okay. Now, another angle to look at it is that. Uh, the president, like, I, I don't want to believe that is the president himself who, 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 how am I going to put it now? That's, I, don't, I don't even know how, how to put it. But at the end of the day, our fingers are crossed. We're going to see how far we can go. See how far we can go indeed. Okay. Tunumbu Dream is over. Buhari never liked him. He does not know his enemies. I guess he should support P2B finally. And otherwise, to win PDP ticket. P2B will beat Jonathan hands down if he emerges as PDP candidate. So, Tenembu should support him as a payback. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. By now, Tenembu must have regretted his decision for supporting Buhari into power. But it is too late now, and it serves him right for leading his barriers to blindly bring this evil we are contending with upon the whole nation. He's not, he's seeing clearly now that the treachery of the felonies. And I have only one sentence for GEJ if he agrees to go with his enemies because of office. That is, welcome to your disgrace. Okay, and that's not we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.